On the outskirts of the city, hidden from view, is an illegal water station. The owners have tapped an underground pipeline owned by the state. All day, trucks fill up with stolen water and sell it across Karachi. We sell containers of water for $4 and then they resell it to the people, a whole tanker for $25. The water mafia thrives on the fringes of the city. Armed gangs control this neighborhood. So, so what's here? Savage water. Sewage water. In well. This is one of Karachi's illegal water pumping stations. And what's so shocking about it is the water comes from a sewage well. It's then piped through here, powered by a couple of motors, and sold on as drinking water to the people of Karachi. Karachi only has enough water to meet 50% of its needs. And the water board estimates around 30% of it is wasted or stolen. This is a powerful business worth millions of dollars. Water barons with 30 to 40 tankers earn around $16,000 a day. Hydrants which are illegally made. But the water board is cracking down on them. Over 200 pumping stations have been raided. This illegal money is also supporting other illegal and terrorist activities in Karachi. Because they have to, if they have to survive in an area which is in the periphery, this area is infected with these terrorists, with these gangs. Over 70% of the stolen water is sold to industrialists. Five years ago, the fabric dyeing plant here was closed because there wasn't enough water. Now the owner buys from the black market just to keep his clothing business open. They are holding from, uh, us from our necks, basically. And this is all because uh, a few big people are involved in this and who are the caretakers and who are the people who are making money, good money out of that from these people because of course the mafia people cannot operate such a big operation like this. Despite the crackdown, the leaders of this underwater world are still operating and the cost of illegal water in Karachi has now doubled. Somewhere, someone is still making a lot of money. Nicole Johnston Al Jazeera, Karachi.